Hey, I'm Shonda Golden, and you're in the vault. Today, we're hanging out with Jim Florentine. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Hey, thanks for being on my show. Of course. Absolutely. And thanks for writing such a funny book. I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh... I don't have too much of a female crowd with the book. You know, it's a little raw and rough around the edges and stuff. It seems like you must have a good sense of humor if you enjoy it. Well, can I tell you something? Everything in here I agree with. Really? Like well, everything in here I agree with. And it's so funny because um, I'm just glad that somebody's actually saying it. And it's such a PC culture, right? No one can say anything anymore without offending. Everybody's so easily offended. Yeah. But you're telling the truth. Well, I don't know. You know, it's just my personal opinion. But yeah, everyone's a little too uptight. And if you're uptight, you probably won't like the book because it's a little raw. And it's, yeah, it's definitely not PC. And I don't care. I just like, I, I think this is funny. I really don't think, oh man, I might offend somebody with this. Like, that's right. not the way I write uh -huh. or think. So I just do it. And, you know, I know you'll get some backlash from right? right. Definitely. People are going to pick this book up at like a Barnes and Noble. What is this? This is. Oh my God, this is rude and offensive, but whatever. You know, I didn't think it was... I just play to my crowd. Yeah, well, I'm part of your crowd now, too, because I've been listening. I listened to all your podcasts, and I couldn't wait for Monday for your new podcast to come out. And I just love your de delivery, because I love how you get exasperated yeah, yeah. in the middle of your rant. Yeah, because I can usually, you know, I can, I can muster up the, the, the rage. <laughs> You know, when I see something that bothers me, I right. can bust it up. But then I don't walk around angry, but I can right. definitely, you know, just give me something that annoys me. And I'm like, all right, good. I can work with this. Yeah. And just kind of riff on it, you know. So I love the way the book is structured. And when it first starts out, you go into Facebook posts. And yeah. I have to tell you, after I read your face, what you wrote in your book, I started going back through my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I, I wasn't an idiot. I know. I hate, I, hate, I hate doing that to people. I go, look, I just, just me, whatever, picking apart. Right. It's basically just nitpicking mm -hmm. social media. That's basically what I'm doing. Like, there's a lot of good things about social media, yes. too. You know, but I, I, I'm almost like a, a person that's in a marriage that nitpicks everything right. that the other person does. Uh -huh. You know, whether they chew too loud or, you know, whatever they... <laughs> You know, whatever they do, they leave a, you know, a, the comb on the sink, with, right. with, you know, or his hair. Or so I'm just nitpicking. So I just pick, you know, pick little things out of social. Most people are like, well, I, I, why does that make you mad? Why does that bother because you? Because so, it's ridiculous. Most of it, you know, it is. The stuff that I pick out, it is, but I really am just kind of. Okay, so check it out. I pulled some Facebook posts last night okay. on Facebook here. And I'm going to read them to you. Okay. We'll see how zippy you really are, Jim Florentine. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. First Facebook post. Now, who wrote these? Just random people oh, on random Facebook. Me. Okay, yeah. Random people right, on Facebook, okay. okay? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm sure it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling it might be. No, it wasn't. All I right. was going to, but I'm, I'm too chicken. Right. I'm too insecure. Okay. All right, here we go. Just finished a kick-ass workout. I may be too old for this, and I may not be able to walk tomorrow, but I won't give up. Uh, they're basically just bragging, like, hey, I work out, and I'm amazing, and you're not, and whoever's reading this who isn't working out, you're a lazy piece of crap, and, and I'm awesome. I'm getting older, and I could still do it, and I want to let everybody know how awesome I am, so just tell me in the comments section how amazing I am, because nobody's going to go, dude, who cares? You know, so what? You work out. No big deal. He's not. He doesn't want that. He wants all praise. Right, right. He's just waiting for it to come in. And he's looking at his phone. He might be out to dinner with his wife. And he keeps looking at the comments. Looking for more. praise. Maybe he's, he's got, you know, the notifications on. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what did that guy write? You're amazing. You look awesome. He, that's all he wants. He right. Wants pats on the back. Pats on the is. back. Okay, yeah. one more. Or do I got a couple more. Do you mind? Sure, no okay, problem. Okay, you got this. No, I, this yeah. is what you do. This is what I do. Exactly. Okay, here's another one. She was poetry, but he couldn't read. <laughs> who, well, I don't know what. Who. There was like a quote. Someone put like a quote. She was poetry, but he couldn't read. That was like a subtweet. Okay, so that's not really an inspirational quote, but the people are putting an inspirational quote to roll over the place when you go on social right. media. Right. How come everyone isn't doing amazing? <laughs> That's my theory on it. How come everybody's not walking around and smiling? Hi, how are you? Right. Have a good day. Yeah. It's not, I don't see any of that. Right. I see a lot of anger and rage out there. So <laughs> nobody's really, no matter what you post, nobody's going, okay, thanks for posting that because, you know. How rad would it be if people just started saying, you know what, you're full of shit. They um, should. They should. But people don't want to hear that. They get offended. Like, they, oh my God, they're they're, they're mm -hmm. really sensitive. Right. You know, so they don't have thick skin at all. No. So they just look, they're fishing for compliments. They're not getting them somewhere else in their life. 
So they're just trying to get it through there. Right. Well, this is so in the first sec because there's three parts to the book. So in the first part, it's a lot of the Facebook rants, yeah. which are hilarious. One of the funniest one I thought was I have. Do you mind if I read this Not to you? At all, you can because you wrote it, so you'll know what. Yeah. I have tattoos, piercing, and a PhD. I've dated rock stars, and I'm a kick-ass mom who bakes awesome cookies. I'm a badass piercer, and I own my own home. I even have my own pet pig, for that matter. I'm better than any basic bitch out there. I'm saying this because I need to remember those things. Yeah, I know that you're looking at your wife or girlfriend right now and <laughs> thinking, yeah, this chick is right. She's a badass. I mean, can you be any more full of yourself? <laughs> You know, you're, I mean, it's real. It's really sad. It Look, is. it's okay to have confidence. You yeah, need to. Whatever you job you have, mm -hmm. you need to motivate. Say, you know, like before I go on stage, I just say to myself, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do well. I'm gonna, this crowd's gonna be great. I'm not gonna judge them. Whatever. Right. I got good jokes, and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna deliver them. I'm gonna, you know, be in a good mood up there. Um, whatever, you know. But that's in my head. I'm not writing that out. Right. And that, you know, whatever your job is, you need to go in. You know, okay. But, you know, there's no, for her to write all that stuff, basically telling every other woman that they're garbage and she's amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? First of all, you know, most women are jealous of other women. So you just, you know, you're alienating every, and no guy at home is going to go, yeah, oh yeah, my wife is a piece of crap. <laughs> this is the woman I wish I was with. Well, you, here's what you wrote. It said, piercing tattoos and dating rock stars, you sound more like a train wreck whore with daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? She probably is. Okay, so I, I, when she said, and I, I remember yeah. putting it in there because I know she said she dated rock stars. Yeah. No, you didn't. And I said basically they came into town. Yeah, you hooked up with them, and then they said we'll see you in a year. Right. So you're not dating. You weren't dating them. Maybe, maybe you took the bus ride from L.A. to San Diego <laughs> with them, and you, you hooked up with them one more day, and then they right. sent you back to L.A. That's it. You didn't That's date it. them. No, not you dating. Did not date them. <laughs> Okay, so there's a person in the book, too, Gary from Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, okay. I'm not your friend. I'm sorry. That's okay. So when was the last time you hung out with Gary? You have to read the book to find out about a Gary. A couple weeks ago, I just hung oh, out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. That's nice. Gary lives in Florida, and he's just a single guy, and okay. he's out there dating, and he's kind of... Is know. he really get that many women? Is yeah. He's get See, when I... So I don't know Gary from Florida, but when I think of Gary from Florida... I don't think very positive things. Like he's kind of maybe to me kind of frumpy. No, well, yeah, well, he is looks he like a, a fit guy. He looks like a bloated Tony Danza. And he's getting women. Yeah, he's always has because he's got a good rap and he's got some money and you know he always dated like even when he was like thirty five. He goes, I'm not going to date a twenty three year old. Every thirty five or the forty year old mm -hmm. guy, seven midlife crisis wants to date a young hot girl. Right. He goes, I'm going to go after the ones that are forty five to sixty. He goes, because no one, no 35-year-old is dating them. Okay. He goes, I don't care. I, I'm attracted to them. He goes, I, I'm going to clean up because, you know, what 35, so every woman that's 45 to 60, especially living in Florida, you know, they're all in shape down there. They got the okay. fake boobs, they're okay. divorced, they got a lot of money, so they're kind of setting their ways, you know. Right. So um, he, he figured, you know what, no one, they're going to look on these dating sites, whatever it is, Match.com, and go, wow, a 35-year-old is right. interested in me, and I'm 47? Uh-huh. Like, so that's he would always go that way with it, okay. instead of going after the 23-year-olds. So he had that whole market cornered. So and at 37, yeah, he knew. He's like, <laughs> you know. So he's kind of a hunter. He's a hunter, and he knows that a woman at that age, probably divorced with a couple of kids, it's Florida, they're all messed down there. They all oh, got baggage, yeah. yeah I and I go, know. hey, look, I'm set my ways. Let's just go out, have dinner, we'll have sex, and then okay. maybe we'll see each other in a week. So he knew, you know, he would find those women out, and then okay. he would just, you know. Hey, man, if that's what he likes, yeah. good for him. Well, what guy doesn't? Oh, well, God bless you, Gary from Florida. Yeah. Keep doing what you do. <laughs> and he's from New York. He's originally from New York, so he just he's a little abrasive and... You well, know. that's kind of sexy. I, Can yeah. I tell you something? That is kind of sexy. That East Coast. Yeah. So when he comes down to Florida, he's abrasive. They, they yeah. Like, oh my God, I like this guy. I like it too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little like I don't know. Yeah. Because it's different. You yeah. don't. You don't get that out here. It is. Yeah. Why do you love heavy metal so much? I've always liked it as a kid. My bro my older brothers got me into it. So. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was like 12, they were like five years older than me, so we were driving around. I'd be in the back seat and whatever they were playing, mm -hmm. and I just totally got into it. And I always liked that, you know, um, 
I don't know, I just like the, the rawness of it and just the, the, the parents didn't like it, especially when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, Ozzy Osbourne was the devil back yeah, then. Yeah, remember Alice that? Alice Cooper. Oh, yeah, Ozzy, forget it. My mother wouldn't even let my my Ozzy albums in the house. <laughs> I she was couldn't like, either. And then ACDC, Highway to Hell. My mother was really religious. Like, oh, my God. So, of course, I was going to like Because you're music. Catholic. Yeah, and I was going to rebel so against it. So, I loved it. But, um, yeah, so I just got into it when I was younger. And, I, you know, and I've always uh, just took a liking to it. It was tough because before it got popular, you know, in the mid to late 80s with all the hair metal and stuff it wasn't really in so you know you want to meet girls it was kind of tough right to go to a party at, you know as a senior in high school and want to talk to a girl about judas priest you i know, love like, judas priest. i know but at that time it was right. you know and i mean you weren't but anyway it just always i've always um just liked it and i just you know um uh, i've always been my, my son's if you know i got him into it he's been he's seven years old he's been to 16 shows already you're a good dad he loves it too yeah yeah, yeah, he loves going. He likes tailgating and mm -hmm. hanging out. You know, Wonderful. And stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I just um, always think I yeah. like it too. And I it's not the mainstream metal. doesn't like it. I like that it gets no respect, that mm -hmm. it's underground. Mm -hmm. I've never liked something that's super popular. Right. If everyone likes it, I'm like, well, why do they like that? I'm like, well, I got to go the other way. Right, right. I've always been like that. One thing about heavy metal too, um, it's a lot, it, it built its own, right? Yeah. So it, and it, it keeps going and going and going. What are we, like 30, 40 years into this? Yeah. Now and it's still very relevant and it gets stronger and stronger. It's kind of like blues and country. They don't rely on anyone else but themselves. Yeah, and they actually play their instruments up there. They, they play their sing. instruments. I love going to see a live band. There's nothing like going to see live music. Mm -hmm. You know, having a couple beers. You know, seeing a band up there jamming and playing and stuff. I've always been attracted to that. So yeah, wonderful. You know, um, yeah. So that's basically why. So I know you like Black Sabbath. Yeah. Ozzy or Dio? Ozzy. Okay, yeah. nice. But the Dio stuff was great, too. You know what I mean? Like, right. You, but but to me, I was more of an Ozzy guy. I was mad when Ozzy, they threw Ozzy out of Black Sabbath, mm -hmm. and they got Dio, but then they put out some great records, too. So I'm like, all right, we got two good bands. That's well, it seems scarier it. with Ozzy, I think, for me. Um. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I mean, early on, but then they got a little... Yeah. You know, towards the end. But then Dio came in and have it in hell and mm -hmm. mob rules and all that stuff. Oh, but, um, that's good, right? Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, look, I love the Dio stuff, too, but uh, I was definitely more of an Ozzy guy. But there's more of a history with Ozzy. There's, there's what, nine albums, studio albums, including the 13th mm -hmm. one. There was, what, four with Dio. So, you know, you really can't compare the two because it wasn't nine with Dio. Right. But, all, but to me, there was not one bad Black Sabbath song with Ozzy mm -hmm. on any record. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So what do you miss most about... Uh that metal show because it's been a while now right yeah probably uh over two years mm -hmm. um i have to pay for my health insurance now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks <laughs> i know it's the greatest gig in the world you yeah know, this, i missed that show you know i didn't have to do any research on the guests coming in right because these are questions i've been wanting to ask them for 25 years mm -hmm. so i've been a fan so uh you know we look we had a good run it was on for i don't know seven eight years 130 episodes you know, in TV years, that's that's a long, in that TV, was a that's long, a long time. time. It yeah, is a long you know. time. So what does the future hold for you, Jim Florentine? Um, you know, just doing a stand-up. I'm a bit, you know, I, I got a comedy special coming out in, uh, in uh, de around December at the end of the year. And, uh, you know, I love doing stand. I love performing, yeah. you know, and I do my podcast every week. I love your, stuff. I love your podcast. You've got to listen oh, to his <laughs> podcast. They're yeah, so Yeah, it's called good. Comedy Metal Midget. So I've been doing it since 2011. I just ram rant about different stuff. And then I do a show on Sirius XM. I do on Ozzy's Bone. Yard. Right. I do a radio show there once a week. So, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm raising my son. So, you know, it's, it's good. Yeah. Everything's good. Life Can't is complain. good. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thanks for being on my show today. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And the you... books in stores or on Amazon. Yeah. And you get, get this book. It is so funny. I mean, we need to laugh, to, you know. Exactly. Nowadays. That's what it is. Just don't take it too serious. Don't it's take it. my stand. I'm like, look, I'm just telling jokes. Yeah. It's just being, you know. It's making people laugh. I'm not going to uh, reveal, but at the end of the book, you explain that, too. You wrote something very lovely about people because... Right. Oh, yeah. Most of all, be yourself. Just remember what I, what I titled this book, Everybody is Awful Except You. You're not awful. It's the other guy. <laughs> and we are all hilarious motherfuckers. See? There we go. It's a wonderful book. All right. Thank you again for your time. Thank you. All right. See you later.